Hello and welcome to Marsha's Library during Heritage Week. Today we're going to take a look at Elazar Alwyn's History of Birds. So if you want to come a bit closer. Uh, so this book was published in London sometime between the years 1731 to 1738. It was purchased at an auction in 1787 by General John Fitzwilliam and gifted to his friend Alexander Mangan. Mangan then left it to Marsh's in his will, as we can see here. Uh, left it in 1802, it arrived 1803 and has been housed here ever since. So if we take a little look through, uh, we have two volumes of these watercolours uh, and over 200 watercolours within those volumes. So we just take a little look closer here. So these were hand-drawn and painted watercolour on vellum by Albin himself, as well as his daughter Elizabeth. Uh, you can see, just from looking through some of the pictures, the amazing use of colour. So, especially in this one here. Uh, the use of colour was becoming more and more important at the time for ornithologists and naturalists, which Albin was. Um, and it became very important in classifying birds and distinguishing between different species. And it's just amazing how over nearly 300 years later, the ink is still, or the paint rather, still as bright as it ever was. So I'm just getting another couple of examples. And here, and you know, you can see through the use of tiny little details like that would really help with the classification of all these different birds. Absolutely stunning. Now, some people seemed to not be happy enough to just look at these birds in the book. So I flick a little bit forward. We can see here where our Robin Redbreast is supposed to be. Uh, so someone clearly decided he was so lovely that they cut him out of the book and took him home. Uh, this happened with the goldfinch and three other paintings in this book as well. Just get another little example here. Ah, here we go. So here's the lovely little kingfisher here. The blue is very striking with orange. Absolutely gorgeous. And so these watercolours were bound uh, to form the book that you can see in front of you here. But another little detail is when the binder was forming the book and binding the pages together, they wanted the pages as even as possible. So they've trimmed off even to the point where they've actually cut off some of the information, such as the names of the birds below. Okay, so that is just a brief little look at Alvin's history of birds. Uh, thank you for joining us today and enjoy the rest of Heritage Week. Bye-bye.